Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a snowshoe hair. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the head, draw a diagonal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the lower right side of the head, draw an angled line as a guide for the muzzle. Pay attention to the size of the muzzle in relation to the head. The front part of the muzzle should be flat. On top of the head, draw a long curved line as a guide for the first ear. This guide should be similar to a tall arc. Pay attention to the size of this arc in relation to the head. On the right side, draw a partial arc as a guide for the other ear. Part of the second ear will be hidden behind the first ear. Under the head, draw a big circle as a guide for the top part of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about twice as big as the head circle. Draw this circle off to the left side. The top part of this circle will be hidden behind the head. On the lower left side, draw another circle as a guide for the bottom half of the body. Use the small marks method to draw this circle as well. The size of this circle should be in between the size of the head circle and the top body circle. The top right side of this circle should be hidden behind the top body circle. Under the top body circle, draw a diagonal line as a guide for the first leg. Bend the bottom part of the line to indicate where the foot will be. To the right, Draw a similar line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the circle on the left, draw a long angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Pay attention to how long this line is in relation to the body. Connect the head to the body using a couple of short lines to create the guide for the neck. Connect the body circles using longer lines to finish the guide for the torso. The top line should be longer and more curved than the bottom line. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Draw the eye on top of the horizontal construction guide and slightly to the right of center. Pay attention to the size of the eye in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Draw a few curved lines around the eye to emphasize the shape. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Extend the top left and bottom right sides of the shape for the corners of the eye. The bottom corner of the eye should point down toward the muzzle. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a bigger circle for the pupil. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle when you draw the pupil. Now shade the pupil. Shade the rest of the eye too. When you shade the eye, use a value that's a bit lighter than the pupil. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Add a few short strokes on top of the eye for some fur. 
Inside the muzzle, near the top, lightly sketch a small angled line for the nose. This line should be similar to the letter V. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the shape. Make the left side of the line wider and darker for the nostril. Draw a couple more lines on the top and bottom to make the shape of the nose wider. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the left for the first part of the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Use a series of short strokes as you darken this line for a furry texture. On the right side, draw a very short line for the other side of the mouth. To the right of the mouth, draw a curved line for the side of the muzzle. Draw the muzzle along the path of the guideline. At the bottom, along the edge of the guide, draw a series of short strokes for the furry chin. Draw a curved line on top of the nose for the top part of the muzzle. Sketch the muzzle lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. To the left of the nose, draw a few rows of dots for the base of the whiskers. Use the arc on the top left side of the head as a guide to draw the first ear. Draw a series of short strokes along the path of the guide to create the shape of the furry ear. Make the bottom part of the ear a bit thinner than the guide. Extend the bottom part of the ear farther inside the head. Inside the ear, draw a long thin shape that's made up of short strokes for the furry ear opening. The top part of this shape should be wide and the bottom narrow. Add a few more short strokes on the side to give the ear more structure. Darken the arc on the right to create the other ear. This ear is facing away so don't draw the ear opening. Now use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. The top part of the head should connect to the top part of the muzzle. Darken the edge of the circle using short strokes to create the shape of the furry head. Don't darken the entire bottom edge of the circle. Add a few more short strokes within the shape to give the head more structure. Now use the angled line in the middle that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top of the leg wide and then gradually make the shape thinner toward the bottom. At the bottom, curve the shape to the right along the guideline to create the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use short strokes on the top left side of the leg to create a furry texture. Keep the sides of the leg close to the guide so that the shape isn't too wide. Inside the foot, draw two short curved lines for the toes. Now use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Curve the bottom part of the shape to the right to create the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Add a short curved line inside the foot for the toes. Now use the long angled line on the left as a guide to draw the hind leg. 
Just like before, first lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Draw a long curved line along the bottom for the big foot. Extend the top of the line far inside the body for the top of the folded leg. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Pay attention to how big and wide the foot is in relation to the body. Inside the foot, near the right side, draw a couple of curved lines for the big toes. The toes on the hind foot should be a lot bigger than the toes for the front feet. Use short strokes as you darken the top part of the folded leg. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Draw a series of short strokes along the path of the guides for a furry texture. The back of the body should be more flat and less furry. Use longer strokes along the underside of the body. Don't overlap the legs that are on this side of the body as you darken the lines. Draw a short curved line at the bottom for the visible portion of the other hind leg. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Snowshoe hairs are mainly all white, so just add a light value throughout the body to create some shadows. Pick a light source as you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Use short strokes as you shade for a furry texture. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a snowshoe hair. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the snowshoe hair. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.